Hello there, it's Tiago, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a pentagram geometrically. So the first step here is to form a line. Once you have a line, put a circle on it, like this. Next, name the center point A and the point at the edge of the circle, B. Now go to the point A and draw a circle around it. Where this circle intersects the line which A and B are on, you're going to create another two points. Just like this. Now name this point C and name this point D. Create a circle with the center point D which has a radius DC like this. Create another circle with the center C which has a radius CD, like this. Where these two circles intersect, we are going to create another two points. This point here, and also this point over here. We can name this point E, and we can name this point F. The next step here is to draw a straight line going through the points E, A and F, like this. Where this line crosses the large circle at the top, we are going to create another point and we are going to name this point over here G. I know that we started off with a straight line which goes through A and B, but I'm just going to make this line clearer for the next stages of this video. With the large circle divided into four parts, we can now start to construct this pentagram. Now with the next step, we have to divide the line AB into two. To do this, we draw a circle with the center B, which has a radius AB, like this, okay? And where the large circle to the left and the large circle to the right intersect, we are going to create another two points. We are going to name this point over here H and this point over here I. To divide the line AB into two, we draw a straight line going through H and I. Where this line cuts through the line AB, we create another point and we are going to name this point over here J. Now what we do is create another circle with the center J which has the radius JG, just like this. Where this larger circle intersects the line going through A and B, we create another point. And this point over here is going to be called K. The next step now is to create the line segment GK, like this. Okay, so you are going to draw a line 
which goes from G to K. This line is going to be crucial in constructing the pentagram. So from the center G, you're going to draw another circle with the radius GK, like this. Where this circle intersects the first circle that we drew, we are going to create another two points, like this. Okay? This point is going to be called L, and this point over here is going to be called M. Since everything is computerized and I don't have a pair of compasses on me, what I'm going to do is create a line segment from L to G. This line segment is equivalent to the line segment G to K. That is because G to K is the radius of this large circle up here. And that radius is the same as the radius G to L. Now the next step is this. Create a circle with the center L which has a radius LG. Where this circle crosses the first circle that we drew, we create another point. And this point over here is going to be called N. Now let's create another line segment, NL. This NL has the same length as LG. That is because it's the radius of this large circle over here. Now let's create another circle with the center N which has the radius N L like this. Where this circle intersects our first circle we are going to create another point and this point over here is going to be called O. What we have to do next is create another three line segments. The first line segment is N to O. The second one is O to M. And the third one is M to G. The line segments G to L, L to N, N to O, O to M, and M to G will give us a pentagon as demonstrated. From here, getting the pentagram is easy. We are going to create a line segment from L to M, one from G to N, one from G to O, and then another line segment from N to M, and one from L to O. To show that we have a pentagram more clearly, I'm going to color these lines in black. So this one is going to be turned into black, this one over here will be made black, this over here black, this over here black, and this over here in black. As you can see, we have a pentagram. Now where these lines intersect, let's create another five points, like this and we are going to label these points. So this point is P, this point is Q, this point is R, this point is S, and this point is T. 
Now since I am using Desmos, I can color in this pentagram. So I'm going to select the polygon option and I'm going to create a polygon using the line segments G to P, P to L, L to Q, Q to N, N to R, R to O, O to S, S to M, M to T, and T to G. I'm going to select the polygon or pentagram that I've created and I'm going to color it in red, just like this. So as you can see, we have a pentagram and it's very clear. In this video, I haven't been able to create arcs because of Desmos. However, I have been able to use circles to create this object. And I hope you appreciate this video. For more geometry videos like this one, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. For mathematics proofs, visit mathematics.proofs on Instagram. Here I post GCSE and A-level mathematics proofs almost daily. Thank you very much indeed for watching this video and I'll see you in my next clip.